Back in September, we took a trip to the beautiful island of Madeira. This was the first adventure we've had since the pandemic. And this adventure was worth the wait. Woo! Big Mac, two Big Macs. Cut to McDonald's. <laughs> All right, so we are finally back at the airport. It's been like what, two years since um, I've last traveled there. So the airport experience was actually really, really good. It was smooth, because I don't know if it's because there's not too many people coming to fly out right now, but security was smooth, checking was smooth. As long as you've got all your documents and everything's fine, you're all good. So we're just gonna dig in before we fly. We've just checked in to Hotel Al Toledo, we've got a hotel room tour. Let's check out the bathroom first actually. Walk-in shower, toilets, oh and that's it, a day. That's what you need guys, UK, you get need to get on it. We even have a dining table and we've got a kitchenette. I actually don't think that we'd have a kitchenette. We've got the double beds here. And then we got, I believe we got, we got seaside views. All right, we got a balcony, okay. Oh, That's the mini pool, the pool's over there. I think. Oh, the pool's there, yeah. Alright, so we are, it's the first night here. We just thought we'd take a look around the area. And uh, we're recording. It's so amazing. It's like golden hour, blue hour. It's buff. What do you think of the sunset? Spectacular! <laughs> <laughs> it's blue hour. It's good footage. Yeah. Pretty clear skies actually. It was cloudy when we were flying in, but... I don't try to leave her now and smile She So we are now at the top. We are at uh, Pico do Ariero. Yeah, Pico do Ariero. So we just took a cab here. It was a uh, 35 just to come up here from Funchal. Um, we'll update you if that's 35 each or 35 for the whole way because that's a good steal. Um, we booked it through our hotel, so maybe that's why it's a little bit cheaper if that was the case. Yeah, so we're gonna go on a hike from to Pico do Rivio and then make our way back. And uh, yeah, we'll have a nice hike. See you guys in a beer room. So we are on the hike. Um, I think we're an hour in. It's supposed to be around three and a half hours. Um, eight kilometers, I believe. This is actually harder than I thought. And carrying this big ass tripod and camera is mad. We are going on our first tunnel. Is that, is that a tunnel? Is it dark? Do we need some flash? Follow the light. <laughs> yeah, so that was the first tunnel. Like I said, this isn't actually a tiring hike. We actually have to go all the way, all the way there where Hannah's pointing. Wow. On the way to the halfway point and two hours in, we saw amazing scenes for every corner. We were heading up at a really good pace and on track to reach peak. So I think we're at the tail end, but it's got to the point where it's no, just man-made steps now. It's literally just 
steep it's so stairs. steep. We've got up so many stairs. Okay. There's barely any breaks. Yeah, so I think we're on the trail end. Um, it's supposed to be a four hour hike. But I think we're really pacing it, so. Yeah. We're doing it in three hours, I reckon. I think it's only 12 o'clock. That's only 12 o'clock. Because we thought we'd get there at two, so. We'll see you at the top because I have no energy to record anymore. So. <laughs> see ya. On the way to the peak, with our energy dropping, I was having second thoughts and heavy cramping and I wondered if we could carry on any higher, but we pushed through and it's all thanks to Hannah's words of encouragement and motivation. Stretches. Cramping so bad. Flies. <laughs> Flies. Did you skip leg day? Clearly. I've got to go all the way there. Look at her go. <laughs> it literally looks like you're on top of the world. So, yeah. we made it. Say this is my <laughs> no, right. We are now at Pico Rivo. <laughs> Had a little bit of drama because I got some cramps on the way up here on the last leg. Literally on the last leg. <laughs> but uh, we made it. Here we are. We're just going to stroll around here before we have to go back. Another three, three and a half hours back. MVP here. She's uh, the leader of the track. I'm the tour guide. Tour, she's, she's my tour guide. Actually, no, I've never been here before, so I don't know. <laughs> we are now on our way back. It's actually more pleasant. The way back was actually so much more tougher. There were more uphill segments throughout the hike, along with the scorching sun, which made the way back even harder. up and then you see that and we still got to go up there to go around this mountain it looked like don't know if you can see the trail but there are people there That's and we've got to go around this whole mountain and i'm cramping up the whole time there's him and then there's us all right so now we're in the shade this feels good feels nice and cool yeah easy to hike because hiking in a Basking sun. Literally. It's not the one I thought was gonna like collapse because we're running out of water. I don't get how people can do it, man. Yeah. So if you're seeing this, everyone, we love you. <laughs> we probably, I'm joking, we probably survived because all that uploaded on YouTube. So. <laughs> Like a stress reliever. Woo! There's the ball. Can you see it? We're almost there. Let's go. <laughs> that your high quality. couple of steps away way back took so much longer yeah I was cramping the whole way through so yeah. it took us three hours to go there but it took us four hours to get back also because on the way back there's just so much more uphill yeah. didn't realize that this is actually the hardest the hardest hike I've ever done <laughs> plus I was cramping yeah I think the cramping so. made it harder for you yeah and we didn't have that much water packed yeah we made it <laughs> How was it, babe? <sighs> so tired, I'm so done. But Is it? I could eat a Big Mac, two Big Macs. Cut to McDonald's. <laughs> hey guys, so today is the second day. We are going canyoneering today, so we're gonna be abseiling and sliding down the canyon and whatnot, getting wet. So because there's gonna be a lot of water, I won't be using this camera, so we're gonna switch to my phone camera and the GoPro. This guy thinks he doesn't have to wear sunscreen. Okay. The sun says no. 
you have to make bad decisions to realize that you're wrong <laughs> and I'm wrong. We're about to go down now on the first one. Just trying to get into the safety ropes down there. It's actually pretty high. Higher than I thought it'd be. We booked a canyoning tour with Epic Madeira, which had us wading through cold waters and abseiling down waterfalls in the canyon. A huge shout out to our guides, Peter Ronaldo of Epic Madeira, for getting us safe and providing a really fun time. On the remaining days in Madeira, we decided to hit the town and see what Funja has to offer. Where are we? We are in the main centre town, in the middle of the flower festival. So it's over there. Yeah, they have a little market going on, so it's really nice, lively. Everyone's here, and it's a nice Sunday afternoon. Yeah, we're just exploring, walking around. Yeah, so a bit of a chill day today just because the past two days we've been adventuring, <laughs> hiking, canyoneering. We were so sore this morning that we didn't really get out of the room until um, 12 o'clock. <laughs> I'm still sore, so we booked in We booked in um, some massages for tomorrow just so we can relax. Do you we'll just take it easy Spotty. day? Spotty. Madeira. So it turns out today was actually the flower festival parade here in Funchal. So me and Han just finished having some lunch and we just popped out to see like just huge crowds and there's a bunch of floats coming in. There's a, a guy painting on this float. <laughs> Hello guys, so we're back. We're back at the spot. This is our spot in um, Funchal. We've got the little lighthouse pier. It's so buff right now. It's like blue, golden hour. So I thought we'd be taking some pics. Let's flash the pics right here. Hannah's doing some, some more some more shots. Taking a video. It's so clear, it's so beautiful. I wish everyone could see this view. Like, come on, man. Look at how gorgeous that is. Hey guys, so we are up here at Monte, Monte, Mont, just Mont. Um, it's the church up on top of the hill. It's massive. So you see that really light up at night. And it's actually 600 meters above the whole of Funchal. So we're here because we're gonna go do the what? What are we gonna do? We're gonna ride the toboggan all the way down the hill. Imagine that's like two guys just pushing you down the hill. Like a wicker basket. <laughs> yeah, wicker basket. Hi right, guys. So just before we go to the wicker basket, we already thought we'll get a quick light lunch. <laughs> Uh, not as light as we thought, but it looks bomb. It looks delicious. We've got like chicken breast. We've got a cup sandwich. And then we got, what did you get? I got a Caesar salad. This is a lot. A lot of Caesar in a salad. After a light lunch, we then proceeded to go to the wicker baskets and booked a one way trip down back to the main town. How exactly are we going to get down? I actually don't know. I think I got an idea. And that brings our wonderful trip to Madeira to an end. Not only did we witness the beautiful nature surroundings of Madeira, but we also experienced the fun and embracing culture of the locals. And we'll definitely be back another time. Bye.